Hi friends, do you know who I'm with here? I'm with the famous scientist Satyendranath Bose and Albert Einstein. And together these scientists discovered the fifth state of matter, Bose-Einstein condensate. The video is coming up right here. Today we are going to talk about the coolest state of matter, Bose-Einstein condensate or BC in short. You might already know about the three common states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. In an earlier video, I showed you the fourth state of matter, plasma. In case you missed that video, do check it out. The discovery of the Bose-Einstein condensate is a fascinating story that involves two brilliant physicists, Satyendranath Bose and Albert Einstein. In the 1920s, Bose was working as a lecturer in physics at the University of Dhaka in present-day Bangladesh. He was studying the behavior of photons, which are particles of light, and was interested in the way they behaved as both waves and particles. Bose developed a mathematical framework for describing the behavior of photons, which he submitted to the prominent scientific journal Zetrift Fuhr Physics. However, his work was initially rejected, as it was not seen as particularly groundbreaking at the time. Enter Albert Einstein, who was working at the time on a theory of how atoms behaved at extremely low temperatures. Einstein recognized the potential of Bose's work and worked with him to extend his mathematical framework to describe the behavior of atoms as well. Together, Bose and Einstein developed the theory that would eventually lead to the discovery of the Bose-Einstein condensate. They predicted that at extremely low temperatures, atom would stop behaving like individual particles and instead they would merge together into a single entity known as the Bose-Einstein condensate. This state of matter was only a theory until the 1900s that technology advanced enough for scientists to be able to actually create the Bose-Einstein condensate in the laboratory. In 1995, Eric Cornell, Carl Weinman and Wolfgang Ketterle were the first to create a BEC in the lab using a super cool gas of rubidium atoms. The atoms were cooled down to a really really low temperature of 170 nano Kelvin. To create a BEC, you need to cool a gas of extremely low density, about 100,000 times less dense than normal air, to an ultra low temperature. The coldest temperature known to us is absolute zero. Do you know what is the value? It is zero Kelvin or minus 273 degrees Celsius. For Bose-Einstein condensate, the temperature is just slightly above absolute zero. So just a few billion degrees above this absolute zero temperature. That's colder than outer space. At these temperatures, the atoms slow down and start to clump together, forming a single entity which we call as the Bose-Einstein condensate. What's really cool about the BCs is that all the atoms in the condensate behave as one giant wave instead of individual particles. This leads to some really strange and fascinating phenomena like superfluidity and the ability to create atom lasers. Atom lasers are an application of the Bose-Einstein condensate that use the wave-like behavior of the BECs to create a focused beam of atoms. Atom lasers are kind of like regular lasers, but instead of shooting out beams of light, they shoot out beams of atoms. Just like regular lasers, they use a process known as stimulated emission to create a beam of atoms that are all moving and vibrating in perfect sync. This can be really useful for studying how atoms behave in certain conditions and for creating really sensitive sensors for things like gravity and magnetic fields. Friends, now I hope you are familiar with the fifth state of matter, Bose-Einstein condensate, where atoms behave like waves 
instead of particles. It's one of the coolest and most mind-boggling discoveries in physics. And it's still being explored today in labs all around the world. So until next time, keep your atoms cool and your minds open. And don't forget to hit the like button and share out this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right now so that you don't miss out on cool science videos like this. Thanks for watching.